Well, welcome back and congratulations. Obviously quite the honor for you. What does it mean for you to, to go into the Twins Hall of Fame? Well, it's a very humbling uh, situation. I, I never anticipated something like this. I, I was here a long time and longevity, I guess, means something. So when I got the call about this, I was just, uh, I was almost couldn't believe it. But I'm very honored to be going into the Hall of Fame and joining the group that's in there. And it's, it's just a tremendous thing. I never, ever thought something like this would happen. Like you mentioned, you're going in with Rick Stalmazic. What does that mean to you? Well, I've known him forever. And, of course, I was the GM when he was the bullpen coach. And I knew him before that when he was one of the coaches in the minor league system, too. So it's great for his family. I've talked to his wife, and she's thrilled. And I'm thrilled that he is going in. He certainly deserves it after he was here about 40 years. What's your favorite part of a weekend like this? Obviously, for a lot of us, it's a reminder that baseball season is just around the corner, a couple weeks away from spring training. You get to be a little bit closer to the fan base that watches you all summer. Just what's your favorite part about this weekend? Yeah, you know what? Twins Fest and the caravan and all those things that come with the last week of January means you're that much closer to going to Florida. The weather here is not conducive to much. If you go down to Florida, it's 80 degrees. Spring training is about ready to start and you just get on with the season. That, that's a good feeling when you hop on the airplane and leave for Fort Myers. You've, you've lived regular season success. You've seen this team in the postseason. You've seen what they've done in the past under Rocco and, and just sort of setting that standard. What do you see out of this team? Yeah, they got a good nucleus coming back. I hope they can get Buxton and Lewis and Kirilov and a few of those guys that have had some injury problems in the recent years. They got to get them back on the field and they'll have a pretty good looking offense I'm not sure exactly how that starting pitching is going to sort itself out, but I think they're going to be okay. They got some depth in that bullpen, and it should be a decent season. They, I suspect they're going to be favored to win the American League Central right now. You've been through the blood, sweat, and tears of this organization. You've been through good days. You've been through tough days. Just what does this organization mean to you? Well, I've worked here for about 35 years, so <laughs> I, I certainly enjoyed my time here. And, my roots are here and most of my friends are here. And they gave me an opportunity when I was young at 32 years old to come here as a scouting director. That's a long time ago. And I, I've appreciated every day that I've ever been able to come to Target Field, the Metrodome. You know, it's just, you never can anticipate having a career in baseball, but once you get an opportunity, you do something with it. And they gave me an opportunity and I tried to do the best I could on a daily basis. And I guess lastly, how about Joe Maurer being a first ballot Hall of Famer? That's got to be special for you. Yeah, I'm very proud of that because uh, Mike Radcliffe, our director of scouting, made that choice. I happened to be in the chair at that time, but, you know, we got that right. That's all I can think of right now is we got that right. He's going into the Hall of Fame, and that's what you're hoping when you pick a guy 1-1 one, one in the draft. If he's a Hall of, Tame, Hall of Fame talent, you'd like to see him go to Cooperstown, and Joe's going to do that.